Hello, welcome to our daily Godcast of evening prayer. On this Thursday of the ninth week in ordinary time, the feast day also in the church today of St. Norbert. St. Norbert lived in France in the um, 10 and 11 hundreds. Uh, he was uh, uh, well educated and uh, became a priest and then eventually a bishop in some remote regions of France. And I'm thinking in those years, <laughs> all of France must have been a remote region. But he did found a, an order of uh, monks, and they're still active today. And uh, he was responsible for uh, bringing many into the faith in that region of the world. So St. Norbert, on this your feast day, pray for us. And thank you for all that, uh, that you did for our Lord. Our readings today, we see in Paul's letter to Timothy, uh, sort of um, kind of describing medicine, right? He's talking about the truth. Nobody likes really to take medicine. It's bitter sometimes, hard to swallow, uh, pills are too large, whatever it might be. Um, but we know that it has an efficacious effect. It, it's, it, it takes care of what we need it to take care of. If we water it down or sweeten it up, change it, it won't have the same effect that it needs to have. And St. Paul is reminding Timothy to, to, to always be mindful that we speak the truth always because that is what will get us to heaven. Nothing but the truth. And we, uh, we need to stick to that in our, in our world, in our lives, um, remembering that there's no other path outside of the truth. Our gospel, Jesus is quizzed by a scribe asking him what the greatest commandment is. And in a back and forth exchange, you see that they're both listening and then responding. And, it, and they, be through that method, they, they find out that they're, they're on the same page. There's an accord, there's an agreement, there's good communication and a commonality to their findings. And that's a lesson that we could well use in our world today. Not too many people like to listen. Not too many people want to take the time to absorb what someone else is saying and find, find something that they can say, ah, yes, this is true, this is right. You know, everyone just wants to talk and not listen. And how can anything ever get accomplished that way? But in this conversation Jesus had with the scribe, he tells us what really matters, that there's one God, and we love him with everything we are, our whole heart, our whole mind, all of our strength. And then the second, he says, love your neighbor as yourself. And then he says, these two, these two, nothing is more important than these two, the love of God and the love of neighbor. There's another passage in scripture where somebody then asks Jesus another question. Well, who's, who's my neighbor? Remember that? And Jesus tells the story of the Good Samaritan, the man who fell in with the thieves, was beat up 
near death, left on the side of the road. People passed by, walked on the other side of the road, but then a Samaritan came by and took care of him. And then he asked him, well, who was neighbor to that man? He said, well, the one who took care of him. And then Jesus simply said, go and do likewise. Four words. Go and do likewise. Love your neighbor. So that's the gospel today. So as we pray our evening prayer today, let us focus on our listening and on our love. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God Come to my assistance, Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And while we're focusing on listening and love, let's not forget truth. God has loved us with an everlasting love. Therefore, when he was lifted up from the earth, in his mercy he drew us to his heart. Praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be blessed both now and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its setting, praise be the name of the Lord. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens his glory, who is like the Lord our God who has risen on high to his throne, yet stoops from the heights to look down, to look down upon heaven and earth. From the dust he lifts up the lowly, from his misery he raises the poor, to set him in the company of princes, yes, with the princes of his people. To the childless wife he gives a home, and gladdens her heart with children. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord Jesus, word of God, surrendering the brightness of your glory, you became man so that we may be raised from the dust to share your very being. May there be innumerable children of the church to offer homage to your name from the rising of the sun to its setting. God has loved us with an everlasting love. Therefore, when he was lifted up from the earth in his mercy, he drew us to his heart. Learn from me, for I am gentle and humble of heart. My soul give praise to the Lord. I will praise the Lord all my days. Make music to my God while I live. Put no trust in princes, in mortal men in whom there is no help. Take their breath, they return to clay, and their plans that day come to nothing. He is happy who is helped by Jacob's God, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who alone made heaven and earth, the seas and all they contain. It is he who keeps faith forever, who is just to those who are oppressed. It is he who gives bread to the hungry, the Lord who sets prisoners free. The Lord who gives sight to the blind, who raises up those who are bowed down. The Lord who protects the stranger and upholds the widow and the orphan. It is the Lord who loves the just, but thwarts the paths of the wicked. The Lord will reign forever, Zion's God from age to age. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God of glory and power, those who have put all their trust in you are happy indeed. Shine the brightness of your light on us, that we may love you always with a pure heart. Learn from me, for I am gentle and humble of heart. I am the Good Shepherd, I pasture my sheep, and I lay down my life for them. O Lord our God, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and power. For you have created all things. By your will they came to be and were made. 
Worthy are you, O Lord, to receive the scroll and break open its seals. For you were slain. With your blood you purchased for God men of every race and tongue, of every people and nation. You made of them a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they shall reign on the earth. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and glory and praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. I am the Good Shepherd. I pasture my sheep and I lay down my life for them. A reading from St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians. Christ loved the church. He gave himself up for her to make her holy, purifying her in the bath of water by the power of the word to present to himself a glorious church, holy and immaculate without stain or wrinkle or anything of that sort. Christ has loved us, and in his blood he has washed away our sins. Christ has loved us, and in his blood he has washed away our sins. He has made us a kingdom and priests to serve God our Father, and in his blood he has washed away our sins. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Christ has loved us, and in his blood he has washed away our sins. I have come to cast fire upon the earth. How I long to see the flame leap up. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has showed the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. I have come to cast fire upon the earth. How I long to see the flame leap up. Brethren, let us pray to the Lord Jesus, the refuge of our souls. Let us ask him, most loving Lord, have mercy on us. Jesus, whose heart, when pierced by a lance, poured forth blood and water, and gave birth to your spouse, the church. Cleanse and sanctify us. Most loving Lord, have mercy on us. Jesus, holy temple of God, slain by men and raised up again by the Father, make your church the dwelling place of the Most High. Most loving Lord, have mercy on us. Jesus, King and center of all hearts, you love us and lead us to yourself with unending love and mercy. Renew your covenant with all men. Most loving Lord, have mercy on us. Jesus, our peace and reconciliation, you unite all in the peace of the new creation and put enmity to death through the cross. Show us the path to the Father. Most loving Lord, have mercy on us. Jesus, our life and resurrection, you refresh the burden and give rest to the weary. Draw all sinners to yourself. Most loving Lord, have mercy on us. Jesus, because you loved us with so great a love, you were obedient even to death on the cross. Raise up again all who sleep in your peace. Most loving Lord, have mercy on us. Remember us, Lord, when you come into your kingdom and teach us how to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father, we rejoice in the gifts of love we have received from the heart of Jesus, your Son. Open our hearts to share his life and continue to bless us with his love. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. You may have noticed in our evening prayer many references to the heart of our Lord. Tomorrow is the feast day of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. That's why. We prepare ourselves the evening before, like the vigil, right? So we, uh, we look to tomorrow's feast day, the Sacred Heart of Jesus. God bless you all. Have a wonderful night. And uh, let's do this tomorrow, shall we? I would love to.